championship uh, finals. And uh, to introduce, I uh, have the match official, Mr. Mohammad Aslam, towards my right. I have both the captains. First of all, congratulations. It's going to be Viking TC. We'll be battling it out with uh, All Stars United in this grand final. And uh, who's going to spin the coin, gentlemen? Heads is the call. And uh, there's a good news here. First of all, congratulations for making it to the final. Rather than do best teams fighting it out, you won the toss. What next? Uh, we'll decide to bowl. Uh, we'll see. We'll try to restrict them as much as low possible score. And uh, we'll stick to our discipline. Then let's see what happens. I have one very interesting question, okay? You have chose to bowl. You have have five 200 plus scores in this tournament, all batting first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually uh, we have a good strength in bowling as well. So, so we'll try to back them also. It's not that we have good batting lineup. We have a good bowling lineup as well. One last question. You're the leading wicket taker of this tournament. 22 wickets to you. And, you and your key batsman is uh, Vineet. Uh, yeah, he's in the very good form. Along with them, there are a few players like Jana and Sanjay Bai is there. They are in good knock. So, yes, uh, hopefully we'll make it this final. Uh, we, are we were in the uh, last time runner-up. So, this is second time we are in the finals. So, hopefully we'll be uh, try for win this match. Now, keep you waiting. All the best. And now I have a, a very dear friend. is Ristian Kazo. He's the captain of the Vikings. Are you bothered about the toss? Uh, not actually. Uh, we were also a bit uh, confused, like, are we supposed to bat or ball? But because both our departments are extremely good, so it does not make much of difference. Uh, anyways, like, you know, we were looking forward to bat as well. So anyways, losing the toss doesn't make a difference. I got a very interesting stat. You batted five times, you won five out of five. Would you be happy about that? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Why not? Like, you know, batting first always, like, you know, it gives the upper hand. And... Uh, we have extremely talented ballers, so like you know, a good target is set on the board, then definitely we can uh, uh, restrict the opposite team. So definitely looking forward, there's a positive vibe in the team, so looking forward for it. One last stat, last time you played your last league match, it was against the same team and you beat them convincingly. Yeah, yeah that was a big battle for us, like that was a, like a semi-final for us because uh, we had to win that match with a good margin to top the table and uh, with a handsome margin we had beat the All-Stars United and uh, definitely looking forward for it and all guys are excited to lift the cup and uh, definitely let's uh, hope all thing goes to our favour. One step ahead, congratulations for making the finals, all the best once again. And the big news here is that the All-Stars United have won the toss, they have elected to take first strike and uh, so I beg your pardon, they are elected to uh, field first and Vikings will be batting. I will catch you in a few moments with the play.
A very good morning to all those viewers who joined in. And we are here at the start of play. It's the Division D finals of the KCC T20 Desert Championship. All Stars United have won the toss and they have elected to bowl first. Excellent shot they played on the leg side. That's going to be the first boundary on the board for the Vikings. Slightly shaky, they have started. It's a beautiful morning here at the SCG ground here. Almost 34 degrees. We are exactly at the start of the first game of the day the Division D finals of the KCC T20 Desert Championship being played between Viking CC and All Stars this time trying to drive it on the up play and a miss Bowler is Swapni Larun. Good line there outside the off stump, played straight to the, the D point. Another easy single. He's been slightly tentative by both these openers. And we come to the end of over now, over one being bowled in this grand final.
It is going to be Shetty Sati. She will be taking the owners of bowling the second over from the desert end. The slip in place, a backward point, point, cover point, cover, a mid off in, uh, inside the circle. There's a long one in place and a deep mid wicket, which is much more square towards, uh, more towards square leg. Abdul Aziz and Nadim are the openers for the Viking. This time slashing it up and over the covers, easy single. These are the, these are the teams, Viking CC, led by their captain, Ristain Cardozo. The last time both these teams met in the league games, Viking CC beat the All Stars United comfortably, posting up a mammoth 200 plus score. This time around, All Stars United will be looking forward to avenge their defeat in the league stages. It's a big game for both these teams, both are the top. Likely way over there, down the leg side. The first extras on the board in form of a wide. This time, a very good length, very good line being maintained there by Sati Shetty he is probing outside the off stump. Mind you, it's a morning game. We'll have to wait and watch. Is there any swing on offer? That's going to be called a wide for sure. Left alone by the opener. This one is slightly difficult, controlling the new ball. He's bowled a wide down the leg side, now on the offside. There's no third man. And this time around, there's going to be slight change in the field. The fielder coming in from a deep square leg. Excellent delivery there. Watchfully played by Nadim. He's been slightly watchful. Trying to dance down the track. This time a bit of room there, slashing it over. Couple of bounces into the fence. Trying to move on there, Nadim. He picks up his first boundary. Both these Viking CC openers will ensure that uh, they make the power play count. He'll try and go after the bowling. Trying to maximize uh, the boundary options. Long off falls back. It's a long off and long on. The only two fielders. Outside the circle, he goes around the wicket trying to change the angle. Very good delivery there. The angle is slightly outside the off stump. It's 15 for no loss for Viking CC after being sent into a bat. Both these teams are very, very capable of uh, the firepower that they have in their batting lineups. You try to get your few stats there. Viking CC. Every time they are batted first in this uh, championship tournament, they have won all their matches batting first. That will be one of the positives that the Viking CC batters will be taking from this game.
on the other hand the all stars united they have posted five 200 plus scores in this tournament so they are very very capable of chasing down anything being posted by the viking cc excellent delivery brilliantly driven down the ground straight towards long off taking on the fielder there it's a good throw but uh, not good enough to challenge the non striker good running there very good running good intent been showed by the viking cc batters they're looking to score every run possible they're running hard he's gone for 10 so far is swapnil trying to charge him down going down the track the line has been uh, very very good a play and a miss as i mentioned earlier the all stars united are very confident about their bowling attack and that's the reason they have chose to bowl first beautifully driven off the back foot straight to the fielder this time are they going to take on the fielder slight fumble surely with that fumble it has allowed the non striker to get back for a second they're putting pressure both these batters are putting a lot of pressure on the outfielders who are riding the boundary mind you both these teams have top the table excellent shot he's danced down the track it's gone all the way it's gone all the way it's the first maximum of this final and it's courtesy abdul aziz who's looked very very aggressive with his approach intent wicket keeper calling for the helmet surely he'll be looking to stand up to the stumps trying to avoid the batter from dancing down the track he has been doing it so very often he will be slightly under pressure is swapni larun he's gone for 18 so far excellent shot this time picking this one on the on side kapla bounces another boundary Abdul Aziz has raced away to 22 of 11 deliveries. It's a good start, a very very good start. We are still into the third over. 29 being posted by both these openers. It's a good opening stand been put together. And wicket keeper standing uh, to the stumps slightly wider this time very very wayward batter letting this one go past first wide being bowled by swapnil he certainly looks under some pressure 15 already this time rank full toss can he challenge the fielder there throw was wayward let's see end of over number 3 it's 32 on board you're running at almost 10 and over are the viking cc It's a good opening stand being put by Abdul Aziz and Nadeem. 32 on board. Immediately the captain bringing himself on. He's the leading wicket taker in this tournament. He has done 
extremely well, picking up 22 wickets, topping the bowling list. Gliding this one towards the short third man, another single. It's been medium pace uh, all along. Amir Ashok bowling from the desert end. You have to go back and re-ball this one. And finding it slightly difficult, the all-star United bowlers, especially trying to control this new ball. Plenty of extras in the form of wides. Still a very heavily guarded offside field. It's a 6-3 field. Flicked away, excellent shot. Playing inside the line. Couple of bounces, the ball is raced away. It's a brand new ball. Any bat and ball is going to scream away through the fence as quickly as possible. Straight away putting pressure on the skipper. Amir Ashok. They're not afraid to play their shots, are the Viking CC openers? They're looking to attack. They're picking their areas very, very wisely. Excellent stuff there this time. Defended straight back. It was a gentle push. And still, a single cannot be stopped. Both the fielders riding on the boundary are long off and long on. Abdul Aziz has been the destructor with 27 on board of 13 deliveries. Yet another wide. Yeah, really, really finding it very, very difficult to control this new ball. And the line has been very wavered. This is the first game of the day. We'll be having Three more games towards the evening. Flicked away towards the onside. Excellent slide been put in. Couple of easy runs there. They're really running at a very, very good pace, are the Viking CC openers. And making uh, the most of the power play. Good delivery this time, driven down the ground. Excellent shot, but only for a single. It's a very, very heavily packed schedule for the weekend with all the finals being played here at the SCG grounds. I'm trying to pull this one away, skying this one, getting a top edge, excellent catch. The fielder charging in. Good composure shown by the fielder, pouching this one easily. That's wicket number one down for the Viking CC. Abdul Aziz chancing his arm this time, trying to go on the onside, getting a top edge. Wicket number one. And it's the skipper, Amir Ashok. He has moved his tally to 23 wickets in this tournament. He's the leading wicket taker. And he has ensured that he got the breakthrough for his team.
And we are back live. It's going to be spin straight away. Gently been uh, pushed away into the awakened spaces towards the onside. Another single. Maksud is the new man who's walked in. Immediately he's off the mark. Getting a leading edge, trying to play this on the onside. A couple of yards away from the fielder. Another couple of runs to Nadim. New bowlers, Vinit. Flight it this time, going down the ground. Excellent shot, up and over. He has timed this very, very well. It's gone a long, long way. He picks up his first maximum, is Nadim. The fall of the uh, wicket has surely not worried the Viking CC batters. They have stuck to their intent of scoring quickly, scoring freely. Slightly quicker, slightly shorter this time. It's been called a wide. Uh, extra column has been uh, a worrying factor for the All Stars United. Plenty of eyes being bowled. This time left alone. Good take there by the uh, wicket keeper. He's bowling slightly quicker, is beneath. He's not flighting the ball. Previously, much slower this time. Okay, straight back to the bowler. Slight fumble, allowing a single. In the 50s on the board for the Viking CC in good time. 4.5 overs being bowled. Really scoring at a very, very good pace. Almost running at uh, 10. 10.5 and over. It's going to be Maksud this time. He'll be facing the spinner slightly quicker. And finishes this over with a dot ball. Five overs done. Still one, one more over to go in the power play. Can they make this over big? Can they make this over count? But they'll be, they'll be facing an inform Amir Bor. Plenty of batting to follow there. Sumit Kumar Rahman. Dusha, Ristain, the captain himself, Ismail, Rizwan, Yusuf, Amjad. You know, pretty lengthy batting lineup there. Both these teams have been very good so far. Four bowlers have been used. Swapnil, slightly expensive, two overs, 25. Shetty, one over, seven, very economical. Amir, the skipper, he gave the breakthrough, one over, 11. And finally, it was Meet Vinit, I beg your pardon, who bowled his gentle off spinners. Um, and will be continuing from the desert end. He is one threat that Viking CC will be slightly aware of. So he'll want to ensure that they do not give him any more wickets further in this game. Watchfully played straight to the fielder there. Slight fumble, slight fumble. A shy the stumps, surely. The throw was accurate enough. The batter would have been in trouble. Nadim, he's moved on to 20 or 15. Leaving slightly dangerous there. There's no need for error. Any runouts. They are scoring at a very brisk pace. 
It's going to be maqsood. He's looked very composed and calm is maqsood. Not a good sound defensive technique. You have to ensure that he rotates the strike on a regular interval to ensure that good shot there, driven very handsomely. No chance for the long off. All along the ground. That's the shot of the day, in fact, by um, Maksud. He's looking in total control. He will be the man who will be very, very important. 15 runs so far, this partnership in very, very quick time. It's taken them only 8 deliveries so far. And the good thing about Maksud is batting very, very straight. Close to his body this time, flaring it away. Slight bit of room there. He's glided this one past the short third man. Very, very intelligent there from uh, Maksud. That is uh, very sensible using the pace of Amir. The line has been outside and uh, around the off stump, and Maksud is playing to the merit of the ball. All stars United will be slightly concerned again, once again driven down the ground, but this time straight to the fielder. Another single. That is a very good batting there from Maksud. Couple of boundaries in this over, dancing down the track. Trying to go onside, but this time the short final leg doing very well. Certainly saved a boundary there. It's been good so far as this final is looking very exciting, and the wicket is playing very, very true. And uh, looking forward to a mammoth score in the posted in the first innings. At the moment, they're very much on track, slightly shorter this time, again, gliding this one away. Plenty of room outside the off stump. The ball racing away. A bit of footwork there from the short third man fielder. In the end, it resulted into the third boundary of this over. Six overs done and dusted. The power play has been very, very productive and effective there for the Viking CC. They'll be very happy. 69 for one. It's been a good start. It's been an excellent start. Immediately putting pressure. He's been very expensive, his arm. 26 of his two overs. He's picked up the opener. Nadim who was looking very good, but at the moment things are looking in control with Abdul Aziz and Maksud putting a very, very effective partnership together. 27 of 14 is Abdul Aziz and Maksud Sayed 14 of 6 in quick time. Elegant boundaries there, a couple of elegant boundaries towards third man. One handsome drive down the ground towards long off. He's looking very dangerous, is Maksud. At the moment, it's going to be Nadim who will be taking strike. There will be another bowling change. Manoj Kumar will be replacing Beneath. Plenty of bowling changes there for All Stars United. They are looking desperate to pick a wicket. Or maybe more and left arm spinner slightly quicker straight to the fielder there very casual from the short cover fielder and loving the single good start there by the left armor both the match officials for this uh, division d finals are Mustafa Kazi standing at square leg and Ahmad Rizwan again gliding this one towards the vacant short third man the fielder from point 
ensuring there was no single is uh, looking very very good is maksud is trying to play as late as possible anuj kumar a bit of hint of turn there excellent delivery play and a miss is bowling around the wicket is bowling way outside the off stump Seventy for one is Viking CC so far. Ristain, the captain, will be very, very happy with the proceedings. Much, much, much quicker is bowling. Plenty of dot balls. It's been an excellent over so far. The only single been conceded. Slightly slower. Excellent stuff there by the fielder at point, putting in a dive. Lifting themselves are the All Stars United fielders. And that's exactly what the bowlers would be looking forward. It's a big final. You want to put everything into this game. Once again, there, the fielder at point has been very, very agile, very athletic, throwing himself around, ensuring that there are no easy singles on offer. Five bowlers been used so far. All the medium paces, very very expensive. Manoj Kumar, in the context of the score, giving away only two of his opening over. Here the fall of wickets, forty three for one, and seventy one for one. It's a good partnership so far by Maksud and Nadim. They're holding things together. They're batting very sensibly. And the mid lowers are going to be very very important and key. You'll have to ensure that you rotate strike very wisely. Keep the scoring rate at a good pace. And Manoj Kumar has slightly helped the All Stars United to slow things down with his excellent last over. Only two runs coming. Be another bowling change from the desert and another medium pacer flicked away towards the onside pace is something that Maksud loves and that's exactly what he's getting drifting towards uh, the leg stump elegantly played there's no fielders there He's hit four beautiful boundaries. This is the first one on the onside. Another one is driven this very, very firmly, but straight to the field at deep mid wicket. They have to be slightly watchful, are the All Stars United bowlers. They have to ensure that they change the channel of the lines that they are bowling. Dancing down the track is Nadim. It's in the air. Excellent catch by the fielder. Slightly frustrated was Nadim. He was kept away from the strike for a while. Getting slightly edgy. He's perished for 22. Wicket number two. Scored at a very, very good strike rate, 192 he was scoring at. The new bowler again has uh, got the breakthrough for the All-Stars United. Both the wickets fell to the medium pacers. Zahid was the last man who was dismissed, caught a deep cover by Vineet. That's a very good catch. Mm. 
nonetheless in the fall of two wickets still Viking going very strong almost 10 and over using the pace this time is Maksud he fancies the offside he's very very strong on the offside gliding this one to third man Amjid Hussain is the new batter who's walked in to join Maksud the fall of Zaid's wicket Drifting down the leg side, did he get something on uh, the way? Surely he did. And enthusiastic appeal there. It's certainly not a challenging one. It's going to be Jana who will be bowling from the desert and it's been a good over so far, driven straight down the ground. Another easy single. It was done 78 for 2. Slowly but steadily, the All Stars United pulling things back. Excellent shot going down on one knee towards square leg. There's a fielder there, plenty of cushion down on the leg side. A deep square leg, a deep mid wicket, and a deep long one this time to stop all those boundary. The next target for the Viking CC would be to get to 100 as quickly as possible and take things from there on. You're looking very well placed. Right on track. Another play and miss. He's, this time he's trying to hit the ball slightly more harder is Maksud. In the process. No connection whatsoever. Very well bowled, slightly slower this time. He's mixing up his pace very, very well. Is Manoj Kumar? He's been very intelligent. He's stuck to his line in particular. His length has been excellent right throughout. You've not seen any batters stepping out or trying to get on the front foot. He's mixing it up. The moment the batters want to get on the front foot, he's trying to bowl slightly more quicker, pushing them on the back foot. This time, an easy single towards deep square leg. Every time he gets within the stumps, he's getting picked for those singles. Yet again, his second over has been again very, very good, very economical. Slightly quicker, way too quick there for uh, Amjad who just walked to the crease. He'll have to get used to the pace of this pitch. It's a very, very good batting wicket. It's already shown they're running at almost uh, 9.5, 10 and over. Beautifully bold, beautifully bold. Plenty of guile there. He slowed things up nicely. Forcing the batsman to go across the line and with that dot ball, over number 9 comes to an end, 80 for 2. Manoj Kumar has put the brakes on the scoring. He's bowled 2 overs, giving away only 4 runs. The last 2 overs have been very economical. 11 runs coming in the last 3 overs. And a wicket. You can see the follow wickets, 1 for 43, 2 for 76. Having these partnerships, but uh, 
every time it's looked threatening the all star united bowlers have given the breakthrough i have to wait and watch this wicket is looking like a 160 180 wicket very flat trying to go across the line way down the leg side Mustafa Kazi, the umpire, outstretching his wide arms. Very well bowled there outside the off stump, slight fumble there by the fielder. And recovering very, very well. after getting a very brisk PC start has slowed down slightly he's hit this way too straight he's crashed it into the stumps and the ball has really ricocheted back that is something that you don't see very very often the ball has uh, uprooted the middle stump and rebounded straight back towards the striker's end It was hit with such power. And he'll find himself very, very unlucky. Is Maksud. Certainly it was a boundary for sure. Dancing down the track. Play the miss. They're getting slightly edgy. Amjad will have to ensure that he rotates the strike. He's struggling at the moment. Two of five. Two of six, in fact, now. It's a good comeback by the All-Star United Bowlers, a very good uh, comeback. Another easy single towards uh, square leg. Only three runs coming of this over so far. within the tram line there it's a good over a very good over an excellent over drifting into the pads flicked away but uh, it's gone straight to the fielder towards deep mid wicket another easy single you'll be very happy are the all-star united bowlers they'll not uh, be worried about all those singles being picked. Uh, what they have done well is they have stopped all those boundaries. Uh, it will be Manoj Kumar. You can see 7 runs coming up, 15 deliveries. This partnership has been the slowest of this innings. Such has been the bowling. The discipline has been very, very good from Manoj Kumar in particular. You can see the partnerships all have been in quick time. Third wicket, they're struggling at the moment. Viking CCs are dealing in singles at the moment. Almost halfway through this uh, first inning, Steno was uh, being bold, trying to go again across the line. That's very, very poor shot selection from. Amjad is no way close to the line or the length that Manoj Kumar is dishing out. Going this time wide the crease, trying to pull this one towards the onside. He dragged this one towards the straightish mid wicket. Another easy single. Viking CC are very much aware of the All Stars United batting lineup. They are very, very capable of scoring those uh, 200 plus scores. Another easy single. The danger man for the Viking CC will be Vineet. He's already got a couple of hundreds in this tournament. He's, he's the leading run scorer with 465 runs, leading the way 
for the All Star United in this uh, Division D Championship dancing down the track. This time he's gone. Frustration has got the better of Amjad. Every time he's looked to go towards the onside, Manoj Kumar has foxed him completely. Excellent bowling from Manoj Kumar. Again, he's given away only three runs in this over. It's his third over. He's picked up a wicket. Amjad will be very disappointed with his effort. Maksud is holding up one hand. He walked at number three. He's still there. He started off very, very briskly with his scoring initially, trying to uh, scoring at almost 190-200. And he's uh, slowed down. He's scoring at 120-130. And have to complement the bowling. It's been very, very disciplined. From the All Stars, you know, slightly wider this time. Excellent shot going up and over, and that's a very good option. That is uh, what was lacking there from Amjad. He hardly seen play any shots in the offside. He was trying to go with the only option on the onside. In the process, he perished. Six bowlers have been used so far. Swapnil, two overs, 25. Satish, one over, seven. Very economical. Amir, the skipper, two overs, 26. He picked up the opening wicket. Vinit, one over, 11. Manoj, the pick of the bowlers, three overs, one for nine. And Janagana uh, was bowled very well in tandem with Manoj Kumar. Two overs, 11. He's picked up a wicket. He will be continuing from the desert and the fall of wickets 1 for 43, 2 for 76, 3 for 87. A big appeal there. This time Maksud perishes another wicket. Back to back wickets there in quick succession. They're losing the plot slightly. Is Viking CC. They'll have to be sensible. They already have posted a very good score so far 89. It was 89 for 2, it became 89 for 3 and now it's 89 for 4. The skipper, Ristain is walking out. He will be having an added responsibility to take his team to something very, very challenging. See the scorecard there, Nadim Zahid. Good start there. 22. All these uh, players who have walked in there, they've got the start, but they have nearly not kicked on. And they have thrown it away after getting good starts. So far, so good there for uh, All Stars United, making a very, very strong comeback in this. Uh, Middle overs phase. Good shot. Straight to the bowler. The skipper, Ristain Cardozo. Straight away middling. The first ball that he faced. He's doing good. 
Janagaran has pulled things back very, very smartly. He's bowling a very, very tight line outside the off stump. A wicket. Three dot balls uh, to follow it up. Can he get in? Can he slip in the maiden? Uh, maybe something we'll have to wait and watch. The Viking dugout has gone slightly quieter. It's a wide, uh, it's a very poor delivery. Down the ground goes Ristin, another easy single, he's off the mark. He has opened his account. He's faced four deliveries so far for his uh, first run. All Stars United bowlers are taking control in the middle overs. They're ensuring, they're putting all the added pressure. That there was. Uh, very tight lines and length that they are bowling at the moment. Trying to go hard down the ground. The fielders on the boundary adding a lot of cushion there. Keeping it down to only a single. Singles are something that the All-Star United bowlers will be very very happy. But the man who has bought them right back in this game is Manoj Kumar with his left arm spin. He has put uh, complete breaks on the scoring rate. Not giving away anything. He's kept it very tight. He's been very, very tidy. He's not tried anything fancy. He's mixing up his pace very, very well. Six bowlers been used so far. Swapnil, the opening bowler, along with Shetty, to follow up with another medium pacer, Amir. And then he's been spin all the way, off spinner, left arm spinner. Excellent stuff there, excellent stuff. Did he get some bat on that? Yes, looks like he's gone. This is another wicket there. They're, fi they're, they're falling in. In a heap at the moment is Viking CC, 92 for 5, they were 92 for 3 at one stage. Three quick wickets in a quick succession. Both these bowlers, Manoj Kumar and Jana have uh, complemented the All-Star United very, very well. You can see the scorecard, good starts there by number 1, number 2, number 3, 22, 27 and 26 by Nadeem Abdul and uh, Maksud, but after that it's been a very sorry state of affairs, single digits from Amjad, Ismail and Ristain and deep trouble, deep deep trouble, Ristain is still there, he'll be a worried man at the moment, he's looking very confident at the toss and he was being uh, sent into bat because uh, they have a very very heavily packed uh, Batting lineup. You can see the partnerships 37 for the first, 32 for the second, 10 for the third, and there's nothing after. It's 2 2. They've slowed down things very much. Almost half the side are back into the hut for the Viking CC. It's now very much a matter of consolidation from both these batters. They'll have to ensure that they build a partnership slow and steady, pick those singles, see off. The inform bowler Manoj Kumar was bowled excellently. Three overs, two for nine so far. I would love to see a slip in place. There is, but slightly wide is bowling much more quicker. Did he get an edge on it? Yes, looks like the ball is racing away. Like I just mentioned, he would love to see a slip and he finds the edge straight away. Is it? No, it's uh, going to be a buy. Confirmation there from the umpire. The reaction from the wicketkeeper said so. There's a slip which is very, very deep. It's, it's a strange field setting there. I'd love to see a slip much more closer, much more straighter. Slightly into the stumps. 
tucked away towards the onside as a short mid wicket. Nonetheless, easy single picked. There's a lot of frustration, a lot of yes, no confusion, calling. It is the captain. He'll have to ensure that he takes things in his own hands. First of all, they have a job to see off Manoj Kumar. And that's the another dot ball to fall up. He's blown plenty of dot balls. This Manoj Kumar he's added all the pressure that was required. He's been very disciplined, very, very tight. Outside the off stump is uh, Manoj Kumar. This time, we're drifting towards the, the leg side. It's going to be a wide. Yes, it is. Sloppy, very sloppy there from the wicket keeper. The first time that Manoj Kumar has drifted down the leg side, he's failed to collect it. Allowing two extra runs. Three valuable runs there to the Viking CC. They're reeling at the moment. 98 for 5. They were 92 for 2 at one stage. That's uh, very, very good from Manoj Kumar. He's cramped for room. Did he get some bat on that? It's a very good finish to an excellent spell there. Four was two for 13 from Manoj Kumar, who has pulled All Star United right back in this game. You can see there, in the last seven overs, costing only 27 runs and four crucial wickets. Two apiece for Manoj Kumar and Janagaran. You can see the follow up wickets 1 for 43, 2 for 76, 3 for 87, 4 for 89, 5 for 92. Again, another easy single down towards long off. They're inching towards the 100 run mark. The first thing on the Viking skipper's mind would be to get to the 100 run mark as quickly as possible and take things from there on. They have another 7 overs to go. It's a long way in this innings. The Viking CC will have to go back. And think this total all over again because when they started they were looking at almost 10 and over and the 100 is up for the Viking CC that will be a big relief to restate trying to go down the leg side it's a big appeal there again a throw there from the fielder there have been a couple of lapses one was the LBW appeal and the second was uh, the skipper Ristain. He was short of his crease, had the ball hit the stumps. It was uh, curtains for Ristain. They're flirting with danger. They've lost the plot completely on the Viking CC. They have to regroup. Try and ensure that they get a good score on board. Swing and a miss. A wild swing and a miss from the skipper. They're getting a bit frustrated at the moment. They're trying to score 160, 170. It's surely not going to be the case at the moment. They'll have to go back and think. Think it all over again. Try and get to 150 as quickly as possible. and. Uh, See things from there on, down the ground goes Ristain, another single. A 
dancing down the track this time. Did he get some bad on that? We have to wait and watch for confirmation. Yes, surely he did get an inside edge. Over number 14, done and dusted, 104 for 5. If uh, anyone has to be blamed, it will be the middle order that has failed miserably there for the Viking CC. They have struggled, they have struggled big time. They have struggled to rotate the strike, pick those singles. And that's what has added the pressure. And it's got the better of... Uh, the Viking CC batters. Nonetheless, the skipper's there in the middle. Can he revive things? Is a question. He's been struggling himself. Three of ten. He's been uh, accompanied by the youngster Madusha. There's going to be another spin change. From the garden end this time. Excellent delivery there. Excellent delivery outside the off stump. Probing line. Asking plenty of questions. Allowed to see another extra man there in the offside. Try and stop those singles. And at the moment, there are only four fielders inside the circle. Ristian goes downtown. He's gone straight to the fielder. He's picked the fielder at deep mid wicket. He's been plenty of height, but he failed to get the distance. He's kicking himself. Trying to release the pressure, going for the big shot. Getting. The toe of the bat, the ball really skying up, but straight to the fielder. The catching has been very, very impressive there from the All-Stars United. They have been very, very good with their fielding. They come with a lot of intent. The skipper, immediately after winning the toss, having no hesitation, has chosen to field. And as he mentioned at the toss, surely they believe very, very strongly in their bowlers and their bowling ability and rightly so they picked up wickets in heap six wickets down now 104 on board can they get to a respectable total other viking cc will be a question a big question Adding this one way towards uh, the short third man, but straight to the fielder. They're finding it very difficult even to pick those gaps. Every time they're getting bad on ball, the Viking CC batters, they're finding fielders around. Dancing down the track, good connection. Good connection. And that has gone a long way. That has gone a long way. Excellent shot. Finally, some relief. Dancing down the track, taking on the off spinner as an element of risk, but uh, got good connection. Tuck this one away towards the one side. Looks very, very close, but the bowler failed to collect the ball in the end, ensuring that the batter reached safely. Yusuf is the new man, he has joined Madusha. Who's batting on 11 of 8? He'll have to ensure that he gets off the mark as quickly as possible. And that's the end of the over with the yet another dot ball. There have been plenty of dot balls in this innings from the 
All Star United. The KCC T20 Desert Championship Division D finals being played between Viking CC and All Star United earlier today. For all those viewers who just joined in, uh, All Stars United were were won the toss. They have invited the Viking CC to bat first. They got off to a flyer. Is the Viking CC scoring 79 in their power play? Six overs, losing one wicket, but. Uh, Thereafter, they lost five more wickets for less than 50 runs. It's going to be Vinit. He's changed ends. He's going to be bowling from the desert and bowling right arm over. Easily tucked away down the ground. Another easy single. The skipper of the All-Stars United, Ahmed, will be very, very happy with the way things have gone so far. Especially after the very, very quick start that Viking CC got off to. It's a big final. Another, another appeal. Did he get some bat on that? Surely it looks like the ball, the ball tickled away towards the short fine leg. Umpire Mustafa Kazi confirming he did get some bat. It's been very sharp. In the field, the All Stars United have been uh, probing, they've been at the batters, trying to stop the singles, throwing themselves away, putting in those dives. All the catching has been excellent, they've not floored anything so far. I mean, a couple of sharp catches, dancing down the track, taking in this full but straight to the field at short cover. They found it very difficult to pick those gaps. The short selection has been slightly questionable there from the Viking CC. They got the starts initially, all the batters, but they failed to make it count. They're almost uh, towards the last phase of the last five overs into the death overs. Full toss, flicked away towards the uh, onside. The ball tickling away, keeping the fielders interested. Good chase from the fielder from short fine leg. Keeping it down to only two. You know, the fielder was Swapnil. Hundred and fifteen they moved on to five more overs. Can they get forty, fifty? Is a question. Showing the intent. Again play towards the Wake in the mid wicket space at the throw has gone to the wrong end. It should have been going towards the keeper's end. It's been good so far. The Viking CC have been the best team in this tournament so far. Both these teams, uh, All-Star United and Vikings, have played 11 games apiece. They won 8 games apiece. They've lost 2 games each. Down the track, he dances, middling this one down towards long off. Another single. And slowly but steadily, the intent has been uh, picked up. They are ensuring, putting in a good effort, you can see the scorecard there, Nadeem 22, Abdulaziz 27, Maksud 26, thereafter absolutely nothing apart from Madhushuda who is trying to get them to some respectability, 17 down the order, Ristain, Ismail and Amjad, single figures, but you have to really go back and question the number 1, 2 and 3. They have failed to get going after getting good starts. Can the lower order now bail the Viking CC out of trouble? Get them to a respectable score so that they can fight back. It's a big final. Surely there will be pressure no matter what the score is on board. Kumar and Ravi. Over number 16 done and dusted 818 for 6 this time played away towards the vacant uh, offside 
wide of the field the field is much more straight towards uh, extra cover play towards point another couple of runs Tusha has shown good intent 19 of 14 he is uh, playing a very very vital role down the order holding things together in the middle dancing down the track he's got good connection that's got a long way that is gone a mile very hefty blow straight away the umpire is calling in for new balls that is not coming back anytime soon madusha is 25 of 15 he is uh, making his effort count he's bailing his team out 126 they're looking good at the moment another 30 or 40 runs will put them in a very good position and surely if uh, they want to get any way close to 150 160 it's, it has to be madusha slightly slow outside the off stump tossed up this time play and a miss every time he's dance on the track he has got good connection is madusha He's taken uh, the off spinner on. It's Vinit. Very expensive. Two overs, 26 so far. No success. Again, he goes down the track. Slightly more quicker. Getting taking this one on the full down towards the long on easy single. It's going to be strange. You'll have to really watch an off spinner bowling around the wicket. He's gone back over uh, to the new batter Yusuf. Slower, very slow. He waited, waited and waited, finally got some connection, thinking of a second, but this time very wisely been sent back by Madusha, who is in good nick. 26, he'll have to retain as much strike as possible. One more delivery. Slightly slower. Straight to the fielder, can he turn back as quickly? That is a poor throw from the fielder. It's been uh, slightly sloppy. It has hit straight to the fielder. 17 overs have been completed. 128 for 6. They're getting to some respectability. It's been a good partnership down the order. He almost ran himself uh, out. Is Madusha trying to steal a single? have another 18 deliveries to go can they get another 32 runs to take them to at least 150 160 22 from 18 will take them to 150 32 from 18 will take them to 160 and that's uh, exactly what they'll be looking at and the medium pacer is back on slightly wider this time slashes Plenty of bat. The ball is raced away towards the short third man. There's no one behind on the boundary. The fielder is inside the circle and with the pace. Of the medium pacer. It is more likely. To screen through. We are still having. Five fielders inside the circle. And now the third man has been pushed. Back on the edge of the circle. He's taking this one on the full, but uh, hit into the vacant spaces. Another couple of runs. Hundred and thirty-four. They have moved on to. Surely they will be looking to score off every delivery as much as possible. They've gone back to the 5-4 field, 4 inside the circle. Initially, there were 5 fielders. This time, towards the covers. Another single.
Mind you, we're playing on a new, fresh wicket. It's been good so far, very good. Now they're stealing, trying to steal a second run. Yes, good pick up. One handed pick up and throw. But completely off the target. This over has been very good. This is the most busiest over so far. Four, two, one. Another couple. Nine runs so far. He's trying to give the bowler a charge. Again, slashing this one. Getting an outside edge. The ball has raced away. The fielder is been brought inside the circle and it's costed them four runs second boundary in the over that has gone down towards the third man area Amir, the skipper will have to get his thinking cap on he'll have to ensure that the communication with the bowler has to be precise they have to ensure that the fields have been set right and the lines being bowled are as per plan at the moment it's uh, totally out of sync good connection that's a good connection it's gone a long way that's a big hit another maximum it's been a very expensive over the ball sailed over onto the grass banks deep over mid wicket Hundred and forty-seven. I've just mentioned an over ago. Can they get to one fifty, one sixty? They are looking well on track. Hundred and forty-seven on board now. They still have two more overs to go. Twelve more deliveries. Can they get twelve to fourteen runs, which is looking very, very likely at the moment? And you'll have to give credit to Madusha, who has uh, raced away to thirty of twenty-one down the order. He's uh, stitched a very, very valuable partnership down with Yusuf, who's given him good support. Running has been very good. The Viking dugout has uh, come to life. Nineteen runs of the last over. Very, very expensive. Amir will have to be very, very careful because both these batsmen have looked very comfortable against the medium pacers. They've struggled against the spinners. At the moment, they'll be happy to be facing Amir, who is again going to be continuing with his medium pace, but he has changed ends. He's bowling from the garden end. He's picked up one wicket already from the desert and he will be bowling from the garden and right arm over but he will be bowling to Yusuf starts off very very well he will have to go back and start this over all over again down the ground and the good thing about Yusuf is ensuring that he's rotating and giving strike to Madusha as much as possible and Madusha has been the danger man who's been doing all this scoring right throughout 38 for him it's been very very crucial in the context of this innings he's danced down the track the field are converging was slightly more wider another couple of uh, runs comfortably done there this time they're doing this very very easy 150 is on uh, the board they'll be very happy is the Viking CC anything coming from here will be bonus for sure yeah, it's been a signal is there yeah that's confirmation from the scorer This time, mm, big heave, no connection. 
40 of 22 from Madusha who has bought Vikings right back in this game. They have another 10 deliveries to go, 10 valuable deliveries. Can he make the most out of it? Split this one down the ground, straight to the fielder. He has hit this far too well for a single. You have to wait and watch. Can Yusuf use the long handle? Yes, he does. He has gone big and long. He has heaved this one. He has smacked this one. Almost uh, 70 roads back. He's been very impressive so far. He's been quiet. He's been giving good support to Madusha. But this time, he's using the long handle to good effect. made a strong statement using the long handle to very good use as I mentioned earlier the medium pacers have been taken to the cleaners towards the back end another shot this is going a long way this is no one's going to stop this one it's a stand and deliver shot this time over long off earlier he had gone over long on back to back sixes clean hitting there from Yusuf he's been quiet all this while the moment He's intended to take the bowlers on. He's ensured that he's cleared the rope very comfortably. No half measures whatsoever from Yusuf. He's raced away to 22 of 9. You can see there are plenty of bowlers being used. Seven bowlers. And the pick of the bowlers, Manoj Kumar. Four overs. Two for 13 from, from his left arm spin. But the medium pacers have been very, very expensive for the All-Stars United. That has been the problem. It's been a big problem. 43 of 3 overs there from the skipper. Again, you'll see another medium pacer uh, is certainly a big concern. And both these Viking batters are finding it very, very comfortable facing the medium pacers. 164. I mentioned earlier, 160 was the, the target that they were looking forward to. 19 overs done. Last six deliveries, we are into the final over. It's going to be the most important over of this innings. 164, can they get 10, 12, 15, 16 is a question. Certainly, undoubtedly, it looks very likely. He's going around the wicket, dancing down. He's got good connection, but straight to the fielder. Can they take to put pressure on the field? No. They go, they think against it. Another easy single. This time, Madusha is comfortable taking the single because he's seen Yusuf using the long handle. Can uh, Yusuf get a couple of mighty, hefty blows over the ropes? He's bowling around the wicket. Bowling, good shot. That is a good shot. He's gone straight. This has gone dead straight. He's gone over the side screen. No matter how many fielders you place, it'll be only smear spectators. That is a clean strike. That's a clean strike. All the three sixes that Yusuf has hit, he has hit it in succession. The last a couple of sixes were hit of the last over. This time, he takes strike and he smacks one straight back past the bowler. It's the safest place uh, to go if you choose one. But this, he is not taking any half measures. Plenty of height and the field are converging. The catching has been excellent. They have not dropped anything. This morning are the All-Stars United. They have been very clinical with their fielding. Especially the high catching in the outfield has been uh, of utmost standards. Good partnership from both these uh, lower order batsmen. Yusuf has been very, very good. 28 in very quick time. But the most important thing is Madusha, he will be on strike. He is batting on 42. Can he face the remaining three deliveries, get them to 180 or 190? At some stage, they were struggling to get to 150, but not anymore. 171 on board, seven wickets down, holding right arm around. It's uh, a play and a miss. There is a strange line and length that has been bowled and he's missed it altogether. Have 
two more deliveries. Can they get to 175, 180? He's gone down the track, he's gone plenty of height. There's no distance, but it falls in no man's land. Another couple of easy runs. They move down to 173. Rizwan is the new man who's walked in and he has joined Madhusha at the moment. The only thing that he'll be needing is Once again, he goes down the track, he gets a top edge, the ball skies. They'll surely be going for the second. It's the last delivery, yes. And finally, the innings has been folded with the run out. But nonetheless, two runs will be going the Vikings way. 175 is what they have posted. Especially after all those hiccups initially with the, them reeling and struggling in the middle overs. They were 104 for 6 at one stage. And credit to Madhusha, the way he's batted 42 of 25. He has taken them to a respectable score, which will be certainly challenging enough. Can the All-Stars United get to 276 will be a question. We'll catch you all exactly in a short while after a short break. Yeah, yeah. Ajay.
And we welcome back. Uh, we're going to be back live. Uh, we welcome all the viewers who have tuned in. This is the first final of uh, the day. It's a morning game, a 5 a.m. game being played. Division D, the KCC T20 Desert Championship straight away runs on board of the first ball driven down the ground. Viking CC earlier posted a very, very competitive score of 175. 176 is the target that All Stars United will be looking forward to achieve. You can see a ring of fielders on the offside. This is driven down the ground into the covers. Excellent shot. A lot of power. He's opened the face and that's the first boundary for the All-Stars United. They are up and running. They have looked a team with great intent, especially the way they have fielded. The fielding has been excellent early on, the All-Stars United. Can they chase this score down? It will be a big question. This time he goes straight towards long on. It was hit very, very flat. One bounce. A short fine leg, short third man. Backward point, a cover point, an extra cover, slightly more wider. A cover which is exactly on the edge of the circle. There's a long off, long on, mid wicket. Going with a 6-3 field, good shot, straight to the fielder, fielder charging in. That is a valiant effort. But uh, it was a chance nonetheless. He has spilt it, a chance coming and going begging for the Viking CC. He was a very wide, is the long on. He was charging, he got both his hands to it, but could not cling on. And that is going to be the difference, the fielding from the... All-Stars United was very good. They have not floored any chance that came. Plenty of catching in the outfield, which was up to the mark. But the first chance coming down the Vikings' way, and they have floored it. They have given the batsmen a chance. Both these openers are looking very aggressive. Natraj and Janargan. It's a big appeal. But the Empire certainly not interested. And he declares it's over. Sumit Kumar, a good start, good line, good length. The only boundary been scored in the wake and cover area. And also created a chance. Which went begging All Stars United, chasing 176 or 7. Without loss, they should have been 7 for 1, certainly. But uh, courtesy the field at long on, he has 7 for none. And he will be starting with medium paces from both the ends. It's going to be Abdul Aziz who will be bowling his medium pace from the desert. And there's no slip in place, there's no third man. There's a long off and long on in place. The short third man was slightly wider on the edge of the crease. I beg your pardon, edge of the circle. He's bowling strangely. He's going to be bowling around the wicket. You'll have to watch uh, the angle. And he'll be bowling. And he'll be going across the right hander. And he's bowled him. He's cleaned him up. What a good start that is. The leg stump has been pegged back. It's a full delivery trying to go across the line. He played inside the line. He is Nagarajan. He has gone for two. And the draw first blood is the Viking CC. This is certainly going to be an interesting contest. It's a, they're not going to make it any easy for the All-Star United. First wicket down, the opener, Nagraj Kumar, he is uh, drugging himself back. He'll be wondering this short selection. You have to wait and watch. Their number three has been very, very impressive. Vinit, who has scored heavily throughout this tournament. You have 
to wait for confirmation. Is it Vineet who's walked in at number three? He will be the key batter for the All Stars United. They're banking heavily on Vineet's form. He's got a couple of hundreds and a 50. He scored 465 runs in this tournament. At a very, very healthy strike rate. 165. Drifting into the pads. Getting his bat well in time. The ball racing away towards the vacant fine leg. There's no fielders behind. Both the fielders who are riding the boundary are at long off and long on. The short fine leg and third man are within the circle. Anything sneaking past the inside edge or the outside edge will race away towards the boundary behind the stumps. You have to be very careful with the line. Any room being provided we will go after it. It's 11 for 1. Good start there. Straight away is off the mark with the boundary. Excellent stuff there from Abdul Aziz, who is bowling uh, well within uh, the stumps. He's got a very good action, good run up, he's got good rhythm, he's looking very, very sharp and bowling over the wicket. This is very sloppy, good effort there from the fielder, it is going to be a no ball, it's uh, above the waist. Uh, stole a single and it's going to be Janagaran who will be facing the free hit, he will be getting a freebie, that's exactly what he need. A good delivery this time. He has cleaned them up, but surely it will not count. The off stump been pegged this time. Good length. And the line has been absolutely spot on. He is getting a hint of movement. The ball curling in towards the right handers, which is causing all sorts of problems. He's not giving any room. For the batters, especially the right handers, to swing the arms. You can see the long one is very, very straight towards the side screen, much straighter. And it's again bold, well within the stumps, ball curling in towards the batter. Played away towards the short mid wicket. Comfortably, easy single. This is brought back beneath. Viking CC will be desperately looking to get Vineet as quickly as possible. Well, that was a good drive. It's straight to the fielder. Ends is over with the dot ball is Abdul Aziz. Nagarajan Kumar. And he's been cleaned up by Abdul Aziz for two. Janagaran and Vineet have been in good form. Both these batsmen have uh, hundreds to their name in this competition. It's 14 for 1 after 2 hours. The second hour has been very eventful. The Vikings will be very, very keen to get another breakthrough as quickly as possible. Ristain making plenty of fielding changes is altering the field. 
And it's a very heavily guarded offside field. Trying to go towards the leg side. He is not interested in, in taking any single. Is Janagran? He's looking to go hard and long. And a slight change again. Yet another fielding change. Short fine leg coming towards short mid wicket. You have to be very careful with this line. Anything down the leg side, there's no one there. This time, Nagrajan failing to make any connection. Another fielding change. Slightly shorter, slightly higher. Batsman in a, a slight spot of bother. That's not the place that you would want to be hit by a hard new white ball. Straight away he looks in some trouble. He's expecting the ball to bounce a bit more. And in the end. The ball dying onto the batter, getting him right into the midriff. Sumit Kumar causing some problems here for Chanagaran. You have to bat sensibly, he's trying to muscle everything. You can see the equation there 161 required from 106 balls. Still into the third over, early stages of the second innings. Plenty of time left. It's a long way to go in this innings. It's a good steady start there. Six runs for the second wicket of uh, eight deliveries. Boundary to Vinit. Miss KCC T20 Desert Championship Division D. Finals being played between Viking CC and All-Star United. Both these teams have been fabulous in this tournament. Uh, the top two teams, and they are battling it in the finals. Good shot there. Did it carry? The fielder trying to put in a dive. Getting his fingertips again. Was it a chance? was hit in the air, he's living slightly dangerously, is uh, Janagran there, in the end he picks up another couple, he's looking to muscle this one, gets a top edge, fielders converging, he's looking in uh, no rhythm whatsoever is uh, Janagaran, he's trying everything possible, But failing to make uh, any solid connection. It's going to be Vinit. He's been kept off strike for a long time now. Janargan has been facing majority of the deliveries. He'll be facing Sumit Kumar. He drives this one square of the wicket. Ball is uh, racing away. Another easy couple of runs. It's a good line that Sumit is bowling. He is forcing the batter to drive outside the off stump. There are plenty of fielders on the off side. He is forcing Sumit Kumar to go over the top. Both these batsmen are looking at a touch. AG trying to ensure that's a good shot, good shot. One bounce, it has crashed into the cover boundary. Very clinical there from uh, Vinit. He's looking in good touch. 
he is surely going to be the key he is raced away to 11 of 6 he is the danger man whereas Viking CC is concerned they are very very much aware of the danger that Vineet possesses you can see the partnerships there early on from the Viking CC 37-32 24 after 3 hours, it's a pretty decent start after losing the opener cheaply. And it's going to be the exciting Abdulaziz who will be continuing this time. Plenty of room outside the off stump, allowing the batter to go square the wicket. He cuts this one away firmly into the gap. to the ball surely fuller and that's the way he has caused all the problems of both these batsmen anything short they have pounced on it very quickly it allows the batter so much more time to go and rock on the back foot this time much fuller he has uh, smashed this one over square leg drifting into the pads he has directed this one that was all timing Slowly but steadily, Chanagaran is getting his mojo back. He's trying to play more sensibly, play towards the merit of the ball. And that's exactly what he's done. In the first, first two deliveries, the boundary on the offside, a flick of the wrist on the leg side. Excellent shot, but uh, very good fielding from the Viking. It's been good so far. They've been very, very aggressive. Both these batsmen are looking to score, and they're looking to score as quickly as possible. I want to make this power play count because they're chasing a huge target of 176. Trying to go hard, getting an inside edge ball, uh, racing away towards short fine leg. Good stuff there from the fielder, throwing himself around. When it comes to technique, you can surely see that Vinit is much more sound with his. Uh, Technique. Abdul Aziz will have to pitch the ball up. Driven firmly. Straight to the fielder. It's a good line. The length has been also impressive. He's much more fuller this time. Not giving any room. And uh, that is the area that Abdul Aziz will surely have to be looking forward to. Bowling as much as possible. Slightly shorter this time. It's straight to the fielder. Short fine leg. There's a chance there. Nonetheless, both these batsmen have got a reprieve. It's living slightly dangerously. Going airborne. Sumit Kumar, slightly expensive there, 2 hours 17 and uh, Abdul Aziz as well, 2 hours 19, both these opening medium pacers started off very well but in the second over they have been punished because of the line and the length that they have earned in 140 more to get up 96 deliveries, very gettable, looking in control and if all stars united on the team That will fancy their chances. He dances down the track. He's hit this very firmly, but the fielders are very straight. That is good field placings there from uh, Ristain. He's been very wise with his uh, field settings. 
and you surely they are very aware of the way Vineet and Janagran bat and the areas that they score he is covering, he's covering as, as much as possible strangely he has got the long one inside will Janagran try to go over long one is the question he goes slightly more straight towards mid wicket he's trying to go cross batted every time he's dancing down the track and uh, wisely so Benitez ran up to him and told him that he did not need to do anything silly he have to just ensure that you play on the merit of the ball there's a deep mid wicket in place and long off in place Sumit Kumar again Slightly on the shorter side, allowing Janagaran to rock back on the back foot and pull this one away towards deep mid-wicket. Another easy single. The Viking CC will surely not mind those singles at the moment. The boundaries is something that they'll be very concerned about, but uh, it's going to be beneath on strike. There's a long off and a deep extra cover on the fence. I have to wait and watch where will Vineet choose. This time he goes straight over long on. It doesn't matter. He's cleared the rope comfortably. That is a poor length there from Sumit. He's allowing Vinny to free his arms and go much more straighter down the ground. To the stumps, he's gone straight down the ground. There's a field a converging. Can he stop the ball? No, it's the captain himself running away in vain. You see this much more squarer towards deep mid wicket. No chance for the long on there. Another boundary. He's gone for 29 of his uh, two overs. Still one more delivery to go in this over. And we need to make this a big over. That's a good shot there. He's rocked back. Rolling his wrist, getting another easy single. We'll have to wait and watch the tactics that Ristain will fall back on to. Surely at some stage he'll have to try and get this breakthrough as quickly as possible because both these batters have been very good you can see their 3 overs 30 running at 10 and 9.5 on over both the opening bowlers 5 overs done they're 49 they're running at almost 10 and over it's a good start there it's the start which was pretty much same as the viking cc earlier in their first innings they Close their power play on 69. Can the All Stars United match the Vikings? As they have one more over to go in the power play. A bit of repair work going on there from the umpires. Getting out the scissors, trying to fix the bat of Vinith. He will be on strike. He'll be facing Abdul Aziz. Ristain is taking the risk of uh, allowing Abdulaziz another over. He is uh, looking forward for a breakthrough and he's counting on Abdulaziz to get the breakthrough as quickly as possible. He would be very happy to see the back of Vineet. There's plenty of room there. This time he slashed this one but he's gone straight to the field. A good effort there from the point fielder. Throwing himself. The only problem has been with Abdul Aziz is his length, he is bold, very short, allowing the batters plenty of time to rock back and play square of the wicket. Can he get it fuller? Can he allow the batsman to play much more straighter to long off and long on? Again, room, he slashed this one up and over, he's just given him a repeat dose there. 
the execution of the plans certainly not working with Abdul Aziz. The length has been the problem. He has both his fielders who are standing on the boundary, riding straight back past him at long off and long on. And he's been doing exactly the opposite, trying to bowl much more on the shorter side. He got away with the first delivery, which Vineet played towards the offside. Can he change his length? This time missing his mark altogether, pulling things back. Rightly so, he's going to be walking back. And start all over again. That's, that's the length, that's the length that he should be bowling full and straight. Try to get under the bat. Force we need to play much more straighter towards long off and long on where the field is set. Any movement in the air will surely trouble the batters. It's not an easy length to hit as well. You have to play much more closer to the body and uh, much more straighter if you want to get uh, Anyway, in the striking zone, at the moment, we're going to be beautiful shot off the back foot. And this time, he's got it right, playing straight towards long off. He's forcing the batter to play much more straighter. This will be very interesting with uh, Janagaran, who's on 21. He has already hit a six off Abdul Aziz towards square leg. He's got two fielders on the onside, riding the boundary, long on, long on and uh, deep mid-wicket. Giving himself a little bit of room, trying to go on the offside. A bit of misfield there from Ristain, allowing the single. That is very poor and sloppy. These singles are releasing the pressure. They are, n they are not allowing the bowlers to settle with the strike being rotated regularly. Trying to walk down the crest this time, slightly shorter. It's a good end to the over. He ends this over with the dot ball. The only boundary conceded was on the offside. That one was a player of the short delivery. And after that, he's been very good. Abdulaziz is pulling things back. Three overs, one for 25. 55, they've closed down the power play pretty decently. Still in the hunt, chasing down 176. Confirmation there from the umpires that the power play is done and dusted. Now, this is going to be even more challenging. He'll be getting plenty of cushion there on the boundaries, deep midweek in place, deep long one in place, a much more straight is squarer, deep square leg. It's going to be changing bowling, is wrapped on the pads, a big appeal there. That's going to be a very interesting action from the bowler. It's a very slingy action. You'll have to take a look at this. He looks very impressive. Madhusha early on, he batted very well for his 42. He bought the Vikings right back into the game. Can he pick a couple of wickets? Especially the one of Vineet. Slightly wide of the crease there. Good start. He's bowling well within himself. He's trying to bowl as full as possible. He's got the action slightly more slingy, much more round arm. No, no, that is the reason that Vinit is slightly tentative. Very well bowled into the pads, drifting into the pads, giving no room for the batsman to swing his arms. Another single towards deep mid wicket. Riste and Cardozo will certainly not mind these singles being picked up. They are keeping these batters quiet at the moment, They're trying to pull back things. 
into the stumps, a bit of inside edge onto the pads, plenty of excitement there, but nonetheless. And trying to drive this one on the up. Good line, good length. And trying to go over the top this time, playing it in the air, but there's no feelers around. You cannot have feelers everywhere. comes to an end. Good effective over, good change there from Maristain is what is a new bowler. Straight away spin in place. It's a good move there from Ristain. It's going to be a double change from both the ends. There's going to be a discussion within the Empire. I wonder what is it. They're checking on uh, something. slightly slower there's plenty of room there the fielder throwing himself getting a hand to it good stop there and a couple of runs square of the wicket and that's the length that has given the all stars united plenty of runs square of the wicket very well bowled Defend this is straight back to the bowler. Is Vineet is looking good. He'll have to be patient with his short selection. That's a good shot. That's good connection. He has hammered this one up and over. It's gone a long way into the desert. My word, the timing was impeccable on that one. And he's again a good shot. He has timed this one even better. Slightly squarer. This time it's gone towards long on. He's up and running. He's beneath. He's looking aggressive. Very aggressive.
73 for one, eight over was done. I made a good comeback here again. In between, it was uh, slightly slower, but we need ensuring that he's brought his team right back on track with those couple of big blows down the ground. He is looking very dangerous. He is moved on to 20, 46. That's again sliced away towards the vacant. Third man, it's gone very wide. There's been a shift in momentum for the All-Stars United. And courtesy Vinit, he has moved to 45 of 27. Good stuff, very good stuff there. Aggressive batting, intent and plenty of uh, power hitting. Slinging action again, he slices one this time in the same direction. It's a repeat dose, fielders converging. Looks like it's a good stop. Very good stop there. He was a certain boundary. The fielder from uh, third man has uh, raced away towards his right. Almost 15 yards. It's uh, Abdul Aziz, the medium pacer. Now, they are doing this very well, are the All-Stars, United batters, they are batting sensibly now, they have got into the groove, they got a measure of this pitch. He's got plenty of heights, going the field, they converging, can he get his hands to it? Yes, he has! And a wicket has fallen at a very important juncture here, great catch there at a long on. He made good ground. Ensure that he was cool, calm and composed. It was uh, very important. It was a dangerous partnership that was uh, building. 79 for 2. Can the Vikings uh, turn things around? This is uh, the breakthrough they were looking for desperately. It's the inform. Janagaran who is walking back. And the most important thing for the All-Stars is that Vineet is still at the crease, he's batting in on 45. And we're back again live, slightly on uh, the wider angle that he's bowling across the right hand. Uh, good ploy. And it's going to be very challenging to keep Vineet quiet for long. He's somebody who is very, very good with his skill. And he's gone! The stumps have been uprooted. That's uh, gone cartwheeling. What a sight for any fast bowler. You want to see the stumps, that's the way you have to do it. An angle has created problems for Vineet. He played this all around. The stumps have gone for a walk in the garden. Back to back wickets here in this over. Madusha has been the rescue. Lifesaver for the Viking CC. First with the bat, he scored 42. Quick fire. And now he's come back and he has picked up two wickets in an over. Both the inform batters who are building a partnership are back in the hut. There's going to be two new batters at the crease. This is going to be very exciting. And it's going to be equally challenging for the All Stars United to come back again strongly. 79 for 3. They were 79 for 1 at one stage. In a couple of balls. They are 79 for 3.
And we're going to be back live. 79 for 3. Good stuff there. Bowling well within himself into the body. Tucking the batter for room. You'll have to stop those singles. You'll have to get some moment in. Stopping those singles. At short mid wicket. Bring the long off in. Long on in. Two new batters. Apply some pressure. There have been four bowlers been bowled. Sumit Kumar, very expensive. But Madhusha has been the man. Two overs, two for nine. He's been the standard performer so far in this game. If Vikings will go on to win this game, it will be courtesy Madhusha's effort. He has been exceptional both with bat and ball. But uh, we still have a long way to go in this game. And all stars united will have everything to play for. This game is not over by any means. Bowling summary there. Very, very expensive apart from uh, bowler number three, Madhusha. This ball is super economical. Two for nine of his two overs, considering all the other bowlers have gone for 10, 8 and 14 and over. And it's going to be Nadeem Zahid who will be continuing. Now it's going to be a change in bowling. Looks like he's a skipper himself. He's coming to bowl. Straight away. Getting some turn. That's a good move. Very good move there from Ristain. He has uh, immediately spotted the two new batters. It's a good time to roll his arm over. Plenty of flight. The ball in the air. Fielders converging. Can he take this one? Yes. In the skies. It was a catch. That had some effort. It had to be special because he was looking straight into the sun as the fielder. Wicket in his first over for this skipper. They're getting a strangled hold of this game is the Viking CC. Looking comfortable. 80 for 4. And now inching towards the 10th over. Almost halfway stage of this second innings. They're very well placed, they're running it almost 8 and over, 8.5 is the All-Stars, they just need a decent partnership. A couple of good overs, picking those uh, singles, building a small partnership and uh, taking things from there on is what is required for the All-Star United at the moment. Both these teams have been uh, battling it right throughout uh, this season. The last time that Vikings played the All-Stars United in their league game, they make, made it look very comfortable with the All-Stars chasing. Mama 200 plus score and they fell short, way short. And uh, the Vikings will be well aware uh, of uh, their last victory over the All-Stars United. And they may, can they repeat their performance? It's going to be Ristain. He is giving plenty of flight. He's slowing things down very well. He is uh, calming his fielders. He's showing a lot of composure. Vikings was the top team in their division to make it to the finals directly. Played away towards the onside, easy single. And yeah, Ristain will certainly not mind the All Stars United batters picking those singles. And he's put breaks straight away with the three quick wickets. Two coming off Madhusha's over, and now the skipper putting his hand up and taking a wicket quickly. How to see if he's getting any turn. He's got a slightly round arm action. He's floating the ball up. The fielders converging, charging. Good effort. Excellent effort down at long on. He was very, very wide, mind you. But he put in a splendid dive, trying to get his hands under the ball. Uh, it looks like it fell slightly shorter, but good effort. They applauded there by the skipper. He's very, very happy with the intent effort. From his fielders, plenty of support 
from the Viking fielders uh, being landed to the bowler. He's been tossing the ball up, he's not trying to do anything silly, is uh, wrist in. Good over, a very good over. A wicket and two runs. The best way to stop the scoring rate is to pick those wickets. That's exactly what the Vikings have done so far. Five bowlers been used. Both the bowlers who have been standout are the skipper, Ristain Cardo Ristain Cardozo. And Madusha. Madusha will be continuing. He will be bowling himself out. And wisely so. He is stuck to his round the wicket line. He will be bowling well within the stumps. He's got a slingy action and that's the reason it's been causing plenty of problems. He's bowling full and straight. Good stuff. He's been quick. Very quick. Slightly more deceptive there. Good pace being generated by Madusha. Ristain having a slight word. A few ideas being exchanged. He's getting uh, his fielders being altered. Trying to stop those singles. It's a good intent there from Ristain. He's trying to add the additional pressure by stopping those singles. Driven down the ground but straight to the skipper. The non-striker thinking of a single but Ristain denying them that single. This is the KCC T20 Desert Championship Division D finals being played with great spirits and uh, it has been competitive right throughout. Both these teams battling it out, fighting it out really hard. The game has been swinging like a pendulum right throughout. Either ways, there have been uh, bits and patches for both these teams. They have had their moments. It was uh, the In the start, it was the Vikings who started off blisteringly. But the All-Star United spin bowlers pull things back, picking up those quick uh, wickets in the middle overs. And towards the back end, the lower middle order Viking batters pull things back, getting them back into the game, posting a very, very competitive total of 175. And in return, the All-Star United started off very well, losing their... Uh, Opener initially, but uh, that did not stop Vineet and Janagaran from putting up a splendid partnership. But uh, they have thrown their wickets away at crucial stages, and that is what has uh, put the brakes on at the moment, getting the Vikings back into the game. There's been four dot balls in this over, there's been a wide, and now a single been conceded with one ball to go. Again, the middle over bowling has been uh, splendid by both these teams. First it was the All-Stars United and now it's the Vikings. This time flicked away towards the onside. Fielder converging from a deep mid-wicket. Plenty of chasing to do. Can he stop the ball? Yes, he did. Good effort there. Excellent stuff there. Good throw. Right over the stumps. Couple of runs uh, to end over number 11. 86 for 4 is All-Star United. This partnership is building slowly but steadily. The required run rate is 10 and over at the moment. The current run rate is scoring at 7.5, 7.8. The first target for the All-Stars United would be to get to the 100 run mark. You can see the score there. Natarajan was cleaned up immediately. Janarganan and Abhinit putting on good partnership 29 and 45 apiece. Sanjay Kumar was dismissed early for three single digits. I beg your pardon, Sanjay Kumar and Manoj Kumar are the batters who are batting in the middle. Four wickets down, 86. They have a, a long, lengthy batting lineup is the All Stars United. They posted five. 200 plus scores in this competition courtesy they are uh, informed batters Vineet Chanargan but they are back in the hut and that will be a big relief for the Viking CC.
Nonetheless, we'll be live and it's going to be the captain, Ristain, bowling his uh, wobbly dobbly spin. Tossing the ball up there. It's a very interesting uh, action there. Fielders uh, converging. He has got a very heavily guarded leg side field. Ristain Cardozo. will surely fancy his team's chances and uh, they will feel that they are in control at the moment. They will have to bowl a, quiet, a few quiet overs to keep things a little tight and quiet. Dancing down the track, very slow through the air, beaten in the flight. Sanjaya and Manoj Kumar trying to put a partnership together but uh, at the moment they are finding it difficult to get Ristain Cardozo away. He's got a very interesting action, bowling uh, over the wicket. He's got a slightly round arm action. And the release is very, very interesting. He has uh, kept the scoring rate in check. Plenty of dot balls. You know, look at his figures there, one for three in his first over. And now he's into his second over, already two dot balls. Only a run conceded. He's tempting the batters to go up and over, take their chances. This time down the leg side, that is very poor, but he's gone straight to the fielder. That's uh, luck that has really favoured Ristain this time. It was a delivery that had to be put away towards the onside, but it was picked straight to the fielder. He hadn't moved an inch. There was disappointment to begin with, but then. It ended up with uh, plenty of excitement and enjoyment. With the fielder pouching a catch, he'll find himself very, very lucky. He's listed. It was a hit me ball, believe me. Uh, funny reactions initially when uh, the batter got back to ball. Ending with a happy ending with the, the catch being pouched. Comfortably there at square leg. Good catch there by. The fielder. He's picked up two wickets, two for three is uh, Ristian Cardozo. If you look at his figures in the context of this game, in this chase, he has uh, dented the All Star United team heavily. Eighty five for five. Almost half their side is back in the hut. They'll be wondering what went wrong. Another ball being uh, floated there. Fielder converging. It's gone straight to the fielder. This has been completely amazing there for Ristain. Every time he's uh, floated the ball up there, and the batters have got good connection, but they found fielders on the edge of the circle, edge of the boundary. I beg your pardon. The catching has been good. They've started off very poorly, dropping the catch in the first over, but that was history. That was a long time ago, but now everything that has been going airborne is finding a orange T-shirt there. Six wickets down, 87. This is uh, slowly but steadily going the Viking way. They will be sitting very comfortably. They will be sitting very, very pleased with the way things have gone. In the last four overs, especially with the way Ristain has bowled three overs. I beg your pardon, it's the second over. It's three for three. He'll surely be thanking his lucky stars, his Ristain. Can he pick up a wicket? Again, he tosses this one up, but this time the batsman not obliging, playing this one straight to the bowler, not falling for the trap. It's uh, over number 12, done and dusted. They are reeling at 87 for 6. It's been a mixed bag there for the All-Stars United. They started off very well with this chase and they lost their way. 
midway through. What a comeback uh, is the Vikings have done here. Yeah, they have uh, really pulled back things uh, splendidly. At the moment, Ristain is uh, a very, very happy man. He is smiling his way through. Trying to force this one off the back foot, no timing. The is uh, plenty of pressure been built. There's an enthusiastic appeal there from the bowler, but umpire confirming that there's bad on ball. moment the All-Stars uh, United will uh, really have themselves to be blamed for the situation that uh, they have got themselves into there has been a poor planning poor execution there it was only a matter of uh, batting deep and as long as possible over aggression getting the better of uh, the All-Star United Matsman, excellent bowling there, excellent bowling. And the fielders at the moment are missing in the covers. And he's been a quick over there from the spinner. He's done this uh, like a rapid fire round as quickly as possible. His bowl is over. Three dot balls, three singles in a flash. And that will invite and tempt Ristain to bowl his third over. Look at the figures there. Ristain and Madhusha are the men who have really pulled back things for the Vikings. Five overs between them. 17 runs they have given and they picked up five wickets. They have literally broken the backbone of the All-Stars United middle order with those five wickets uh, denting them very, very dearly. Have been good, very good. Ristain will fancy his chances to get a 5 for. He has two more overs to go, 12 balls, 90 for 6, 13 overs, plenty of pressure mounting with every delivery and every over for the All Stars United. At some point, they will have to ensure that they take the aggressive route, dancing down the track. This time he goes downtown, fielders converging. Whenever you see Ristain bowling, you'll find that there are 15 fielders on the field. Such has been uh, the impact of Ristain bowling. Every time he tosses the ball up and batter gets back to ball, the fielder finds himself under the ball. Trying to go over the top in the air. Again, fielders converging from uh, long off and long on. Keeping it down to a single. He's not afraid to toss the ball up, which is very, very wise and smart. He is tempting. He knows that there is only one way out for the All-Stars United is to go after the bowling. And they will look to score those boundaries. He's uh, slightly slower this time. Through the air is restrained and allowed the slowness of the deliveries, allowed the batter to run down the beginning, come back in his crease. Hands on hips there from everyone around in the circle. They were hunting down another wicket. Is restrained. Can he get five? 
can he get four he has plenty of deliveries he has plenty of time to do so he's expecting the batsman to run down the wicket sensing a stumping at some point moving his uh, round arm leg spinners down the ground goes the Manoj Kumar another single They're almost uh, closing down on the 14th over there will be six more overs after this over and uh, 80 odd runs and search the ball has gone in the air there's no fielders this is going to be a boundary he will surely not mind this is disdain that the batters are going after him it will surely give him an opportunity to pick up a wicket or two it's been a pretty sloppy day from the all stars united they have really flawed this one Side edge, the ball uh, trickling away towards short fine leg, trying to go on the onside. 14 overs have been completed, 98. There's still a couple of runs away from the 100 run mark. Seventy-eight more required of 36 deliveries it's certainly a daunting task but not an impossible one very much gettable can the lower order Take the All Stars United over the line will be a question, a big question to ask. This time, driven firmly down the ground towards long off. Easy single. It's going to be Zahid. He's bowled two overs for 18. He's been slightly expensive. But at the moment, it's Vikings all the way. This one's pretty straight there. Towards mid wicket. Manoj Kumar trying everything possible to go after the bowlers. Dancing down the track. He's hit this one straight towards short mid wicket, but there's a misfield there. For a moment, both the batsmen were stranded mid pitch. Ball watching. In the end, it's an easy single courtesy the fielder short mid wicket. Now on the leg side, and that is sloppy. They will have to really tighten this uh, as quickly as possible, is the Vikings. Tossed up again, slightly slower, play and a miss. They're literally towing with the batters at the moment. Both these bowlers, they are tossing the ball up well above the eye line, floating it into the sky. And the batters. Finding it very difficult to get these slower bowlers away. Again, a single been stolen there at short mid-wicket. The bowler and the keeper have been kept busy, giving a chase. 100 comes up, 102 for 6. We are into the 15th over. One more delivery to go. Searching for the big shot. It's a long way away. This time he goes straight. He goes straight hard into the side screen. Crash it goes. What a good shot. That is good connection. Another 6 been hit straight. Back past the bowler. 
that's exactly what we were looking forward to. A big shot coming at some stage. You can see the scorecard pretty solid state there. Only a couple of batters. 29 and 45 for Janargan and Vineet. And uh, the only batter down the order, Manoj Kumar, trying to put in an effort with double figures. Remaining the batters have been struggling. They have been stranded for single figures. 2, 3, 1, not and 9. 108 for 6. Five more overs to go. We are into the last phase of this match and innings. That's it. Can the All Stars United pull off a miraculous effort from here on? Again, it's been uh, tossed up there. I don't know, but there's a fielder. They're converging straight to the fielder. There have been plenty of fielders on the onside. Bowling has been. Uh, Pretty decent wrist in. He has five more deliveries to go. He bowled excellently, very well. Tossing his lobby deliveries there. Three for 12 of three overs. Good stuff there from wrist in. Trying big swing and a miss this time. Trying to get under the ball. Manoj certainly not interested. And taking the single, he wants to go long and hard. He is uh, trying as much as possible to use the long handle. Now there is plenty of cover and cushion there for Ristain. He has pushed all the fielders on the onside, deep mid wicket. There's two mid wickets, square leg. On the fence, there are four fielders riding on the boundary on the onside. And he's inviting the batter to go and he's fallen for the trap. This one is it and straight down. Long on his throat. Another one bites the dust. Ristain is the man of the moment. Uh, he's the skipper has been having a fantastic day. Wickets in bulk. He's picked up four wickets so far. Most uh, 60 or 70 percent of the wickets been picked by Ristain himself. He is dented. The All Stars United very heavily. 4 for 12. Can he pick up a 5 for? Has been the order of the day. He has a few more deliveries to go in this over. 3 more. He will be fancying his chances. He will surely be ensuring that the batter goes after him. He's going to toss the ball up. And the batsman trying to throw the kitchen sink at Ristain, failing to clear the fence or evade the fielders. Once again, Ristain trying everything possible to get one more wicket. And certainly he deserves the praise that he has been uh, showing good composure in this game. Again a big heave, swing and a miss, wrist in there, <laughs> smiling his way, hands on hips, we're wondering. He's still uh, fancying that the batter goes after him. Get some bat on the ball is what Ristain will be pleading to the batter. Because anything being hit is surely going to go airborne. This time down all along the ground, it's going to be another single. It's a good spell been uh, completed there by the skipper. 4 for 13 is Ristain. He has. Uh, Ball is team right back into the contest. It was a good start. 2 for 79 at one stage. 3 for 79. 4 for 80. There was 3 wickets in quick succession. And uh, they lost their way throughout. You can see there. 6, 5 bowlers been used. But uh, the pick of the bowlers are Madusha and Ristain who have picked up 6 wickets among themselves. Giving away 27 runs of 7 overs. 
4.67 and 3.25 is the economy that they have been uh, going at. When you look at the medium paces, they have been going at 10, 8 and 9 and over. Well, this is a contrasting change in the way Ristain and Madusha has pulled things back for his team. Madusha will be bowling his last over. He's done well and this lad has to be applauded. He's bought his team and given them a great chance. And they are now inside towards uh, marching towards victory is the Viking CC. They will be sensing that victory very closely. 64 required of 23. Considering that the lower order is batting, it's uh, more logically clear that Viking CC will be sensing a great victory here. At one stage they were reeling with the 105, 104 for 5. Yeah, at that point, surely they wouldn't have been thinking about scoring 160-170, but courtesy Madusha, who has done very well, has come back to pick up two quick, two quick wickets and give them a great chance. This Division C, Division D finals being played. The only thing that the All-Stars United will be agonizing is the poor effort that they have put when it comes to executing their plans with the bat. They have failed to do so. The thought process and the mindset will surely be questioned. I flicked away this one straight towards long on. Pretty flat batted and one went very, very quickly. Down the ground, 115 for 7. That's uh, almost uh, done and dusted are the All-Stars United. Another one bites the dust. Madhu Shah has picked up his third. 3 for 19. You have to applaud this lad for uh, stepping up. Putting in an extraordinary effort. An all-round effort. Surely he'll be the front runner for the contender, for the player of the finals, undoubtedly. Bailed his team out when they were in dire straits, deep in trouble. Posting a respectable, competitive, challenging score. Now certainly with the 8 wickets down, the Vikings will be running through the motion. They will be believing that they, are, they have wrapped their hand, hands around the prized trophy. You'll have to give this one for, to the KCC. With the prize money over 30,000 US dollar in cash awards been awarded all across uh, various divisions A, B, C, D and E. All the finals been played over the weekends. Also, we'll have to have special mentions for these sponsors, these principal sponsors who have put in. Uh, and lended their support right throughout. Ashraf Company, MEC Group, Alafiz, Kuwait Swedish, T10 Sports, Grand, Quick Clubs, 
IDP Ashraf and Company and all those watching live you can uh, let your friends know that the live scores and updates can be downloaded on the Creek Kuwait Creek Club mobile app from the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. That's a good shot. He has bunted this one up and over. Is there a silver lining? Is it too late? Fifty three required of fifteen. Still gettable, couple of big blasty blows, you never know. But uh, if we go by logics, it is very, very clear that uh, the Vikings will be walking through comfortably. It's only a matter of uh, the margin that they'll win this match. Most we are closing on to the 18th over 17.423 for 8. Trying to dance down the track into the block hole. Good stuff there on the fielder. Quick throw. In the end, comfortable single. Both the batters making it pretty easy. These teams have fought well. The Vikings goes on to win this one. It will be 2-2 two and two for them, for the Vikings beating the All-Stars United. They beat the All-Stars United earlier in the league stages and now it will be a repeat in the finals. Uh, Amir will be wondering as he won the toss earlier and he invited the Vikings to bat on a very good batting pitch. Was it a decision that he will be regretting at some point? Will be a question. You can see the scorecard there. Madhusha 42, quick fire 42 of 25. He changed the game with the, to go with his 3 for 19, along with Ristain who picked up 4 for 13. That was a standout performance for the Vikings. You know, only silver lining for uh, All Star United when they batted was Vinith who batted beautifully. He was very aggressive, very clinical with his stroke play. A couple of beautiful, humongous sixes been hit over long on. This time trying to go across the line and that's uh, another one. Been caught right in front of the stumps, plumb in front, says the umpire. It's been a very good match, very productive and fruitful for the Vikings. They've been... Uh, Stand out with their performance, very clinical. That is again, he's been caught short. I think he is just been caught on the line. And the umpire confirming that the line belongs. To the umpire. It's been a great victory there for uh, the Vikings. You have to congratulate them. They've been a splendid performance. 
You can see the scorecard there from the Vikings. 175 been put up for 8 wickets. Madusha 45, 42 of 25. Stand out there. Yeah, celebrations all around. It will be... We'll run straight into the presentation in a few moments. Welcome, welcome back all three was It's been a splendid effort here. The Vikings posting 175. And they fell short. So United was bundled out. I have with me the man of the moment, Madusha. Welcome Madusha. It's been a splendid effort. You have scored 42, a quick fire 42. Okay, and you picked up 3 for 19. Yeah, I'm very happy to my performance and all our team performance. Yeah. We are all happy today. It's the final. <laughs> yeah. Very good. I'm happy. Okay, only one question. When you were 106 for 6, okay, from there you built a partnership with uh, Yusuf for 67. During that period, what did you speak in between? Yeah, actually, I'm uh, coming to the ground as captain saying, play your normal game. And uh, Yusuf also playing very good game. Then, uh, yeah, we are playing normally. Then my bat also connected. <laughs> Very happy. One last question. Your action is more like Malinga. Do you want to say something? Yeah, my favorite uh, cricketer. Then I follow him. <laughs> it's a very good uh, effort, Madusha. Go and enjoy with your team. I won't be keeping competing. Yeah. Thank you very much and Thank congratulations. You. It's been a good final. That's it for the day. Vikings have won this uh, Division D finals comfortably. Courtesy the splendid performance by Madusha, who gave in a splendid effort of 42 down the order and picking up three crucial wickets uh, along to go with the skipper Ristain who picked up an excellent four wicket uh, haul down the order. That's it from the SAG. Thank you very much.